Right, it is about <clears throat> 8 o'clock in the morning, um, prepping supper because we're not going to be here all day. I just got some pork ribs in there, and I made a homemade barbecue sauce. I just used some ketchup, some mustard, a little bit of water, some butter, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of brown sugar, and I put some um, HP sauce in it just to give it that barbecue flavor. Usually I don't even use that, but I just whip that together, and I'm going to pour that over top. Um, I've got my oven on the lowest setting, so I'm just going to put it in the oven and let it cook all day. Hopefully, it's good like that. Um, so we'll see how it is tonight when we get home. I'm just going to serve it with some rice. Alright, so it is a quarter to nine. Getting ready to take the kids to school. I just cleaned up the dishes this morning. Got the rice cooker out for tonight. Got these dishes here that I will put away tonight, so not too concerned about it. I'll do that when I get home. And I'm gonna make myself a coffee to bring. And I got the oven on the lowest setting, and I got my ribs in there. So hopefully they will be done when we get home and not overdone or undercooked or whatever. So we will see. So we're down here. I brought myself. A sandwich for lunch. Just put the TV on. And I just bring this little desk over. Put my computer on it. I had made myself a coffee uh, before we came down. And of course I forgot it on the counter. So I bought myself a small coffee. So that sucks. But it is what it is. So I'll be back in a bit. I've been hearing this all day. That's what my backup cam looks like. Can't see nothing. So I'm on my way to pick up the kids from school. The plow just come back, which is good because the road was pretty crappy, just like my visibility. Um, so yeah, I got most of the stuff put away. I, uh, what else did I do? I put all the dishes away, so that's done for when I get home. And let's see if I can focus here for a second. You guys look awful blurry. So some of the things that I want to do are, I'm just going to wait till I get up here and stop. Some of the things that I want to do are, I want to make some homemade, um, just wait, I'll see if I can focus. There we go. I want to make some homemade pizza crust shape them into like the the pizza and just have them in my fridge and my freezer for when we need them because i'm going to make pizza a couple nights a couple times uh i might only make maybe like four of them just to see how it goes which i'm sure it's going to go perfectly fine but there's just so many ways to make um pizza we've had it on just bread before like toast it was amazing uh hamburger buns you know different things like that so so I'm gonna make some pizza crust I'm going to make uh, probably another batch of bagels sorry of all the bouncing around I'm gonna make another batch of bagels and probably just stick them in my freezer so that I have them uh, you know whenever we need them um, I'm gonna make some pancakes for the freezer as well because we are completely out of those and those make a good br quick breakfast you know on days where I'm kind of pressed for time uh, usually in the summertime I'll probably start getting up at like five five thirty six o'clock again but now that I've been going to bed like super late I've just I don't know my sleep schedule so messed up um, I go to sleep it's like one two o'clock in the morning sometimes just because I'm not tired and then I have a hard time waking up in the morning so then there's there's mornings where I get up at 7 30 and it's like ugh, I don't like that because it I 
me and most of the time I get the stuff ready for Riley before, on, especially on school nights. I'll get his lunch and stuff ready, but on like dialysis days where I have to get myself ready, I gotta get all Riley's stuff ready. Plus I gotta make myself something for lunch and all that. It's just, it's super hectic. So I'll be glad to be able to start getting up early again. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not being tired. Um, but at the moment, the fridge is full. And if you guys know me, you know that I don't like when the fridge is full like that. Um, there, I know there's a lot of stuff in it. I'll do a, like a before and after for you guys later. But um, like there's meat and stuff in there that needs to be separated. Once that's out of there, then that'll be that'll be good. But um, there's just I the other day I went and I washed out. I started washing out. Well, I got pretty much the whole fridge washed out. I did the doors and all that, but um, I don't think I did the crispers. So I'm probably it's snowing so much and it's not even picking it up on camera. But you can see up there, that's usually clear all there. Um, so anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's see if I can stop. I don't know if you guys can see how much it's actually snowing. Quite a bit. Anyways, we're, we're in for way more than this, though. So, uh, there's pan... Anyways, I don't know what I was saying, but there's pancakes, there's pizza crusts, there's more bagels that I want to make, there's a vegetable tray that I have to make, there's uh, meat and all that that needs to be separated and put into the freezers. I want to clean out my fridge. I think that's what I was saying. Of course, I ran out of space. So yeah, in 11 minutes, the kids will be done school and they'll, they'll be burling out of there. So um, yeah, I'm going to upload these videos so that I have more space later and I'll bring you guys along in the kitchen whenever I'm prepping all my food and all that stuff. See, like, that's the ma that's a mountain right there, and you can barely see it, so. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. That's how bad the roads are. So there's my supper, ribs, rice, and corn. So I took the uh, ribs off the rack and fix them up on my plate. I added a little bit of barbecue sauce on my rice. I like to eat my rice um, white. And of course, I have a Pepsi. So I'm gonna go enjoy my dinner. And <coughs> I may have a bath after supper. It all depends on how I feel. And then I'm going to start baking some stuff, I believe. Maybe I'll wait till tomorrow. It all depends on how I feel, so. Right now it's 5 o'clock. I'm going to go eat. I'm loving that it's still light out. It's still light about even 5.30, 5.40. It's still light out. So it's summer's coming, slowly but surely. All right. I know I've cleaned this room I don't know how many times. And this is just kind of the aftermath of Christmas. Everything just kind of thrown in there. These are decorations that need to be neatly stacked under there and all that stuff so i'm working on that right now instead of doing some baking there's stuff kicking around on the floor so here's the deal i had taken down my christmas tree and this was the big box that it went into um now obviously i was having a really hard time trying to get that i don't know how on earth they fit that in there but it wasn't working for me so I am in this group on Facebook uh, called <clears throat> Something to Do with Christmas. Anyways, I asked them, and I've done this before where I kept a little tree up. I asked them, I said, does any of you guys keep a tree up, your tree up all year round, and just decorate it according to this, the, the holiday or whatever? And a couple of them said, oh, that's such a good idea. I never thought of that. Other people said kind of like, well, I think that within, by April, I'd be sick of the tree, and it wouldn't be as, you know, magical at Christmas time, and I mean, I guess it all depends on your personality and whatnot, but what I've decided to do is take my tree back out into the living room, I'm going to set it up, it's, it's easy, easy setup, it's pretty much already set up, I am going to find 
I think in this bag here is where the lights are. They're like white lights. I'm going to just decorate it with the white lights. Leave it up all year round. Um, next month is Valentine's Day, so I'll just, you know, decorate it. I'm not going to go out and buy anything special per se. Like, maybe I'll set a budget of, like, $10 and get a couple little things. But uh, I'm going to start making some decorations for... Uh, uh, Valentine's Day, I mean, I mean, it's not going to stay up for the whole month. I'll keep it up, you know, from the beginning of February until the 14th and then whatever, take it down. It's not a big deal, but, um, and then my son's birthday is in March and he's like, oh yeah, and I was asking about him, about it, if he wanted me to put the tree up and he's like, yeah, could you, when it's my birthday, would you be able to put my presents under the tree? And it's like, sure. Like, so he's excited about that. April is usually Easter, May is Mother's Day, uh, June is Father's Day, uh, July there's a couple birthdays including mine, um, August, there's not really anything going on in August or September, October, there's Halloween. November is Jay's birthday, and then December, you know, we're back to uh, usually after Remembrance Day or sometimes before, but uh, I'll put the tree up. So, really, by the time it, Christmas rolls around again, it's going to go by so fast. So, that is what I'm going to do. And then that way there, too, like, in the summer, if I don't, if I'm outside having a fire or whatever, I can just turn the tree on in the living room, and it'll light it up nice, and I can watch that as well as the fire. And I think I'm going to enjoy it. If I get sick of it, I'll have to take it down and find some place to put it. But I think it beats having this great big box in the way. Now, if I had a basement, well, I do have a basement, but if it was finished and that type of thing, I would definitely, you know, wrap it up and probably put it down there. But basically up here is the floor that, you know, is functional. And there's Riley's room. There's the bathroom. There's the bedroom. There's a kitchen and the living room. So there's not, and I, that's basically what I have to be able to store. Like that's, you know, there's not really any room for a big Christmas tree. So I'm going to try that and see how it works. Um, I kind of want to get rid of this box, but then I kind of don't. So it's really, I don't know, I'm torn between that, but because I don't really have the room to store it. So I'm going to. Try to deal with this mess of Christmas stuff. Get that put away. And then I'm just going to get the whole room cleaned up. Hopefully once and for all. Uh, just reorganize it. And then I'll sweep the floor. And then it'll be a big job that's done. So it is currently 13 minutes after 6. I had my supper. All that stuff. So this is what I'm going to work on tonight. And tomorrow... I will get on with the baking and all that. Just, I figure it's kind of late. I don't want to start something and then be stuck having to, you know, deal with that. So I will work on this and then tomorrow I'll have a fresh start. And whenever I wake up, I'll get my coffee and we'll start in the kitchen working on some stuff. So I'll be back in a little bit whenever I get this organized and cleaned up a little bit. Okay, so it's 9 p.m. I just finally got this all done. Um, took me a couple hours. <coughs> well, yeah, three hours. Can't believe it took that long, but I went, had a lot of like little papers to go through and all that. So I got this all organized and fixed up. This uh, blanket usually hangs from there. That's why I have this chair in here. I'm going to hang that and that'll be done. And yeah, it's kind of tacky. I could have little doors, but I just used blankets instead. And then I moved that over there, and I put a bunch of Christmas decorations up there. And then I, down there is all the cat toys. And then I brought in my, um, this was my grandfather's cereal. So I brought that in here from out in the kitchen. This is a Lego set rally over Christmas. We still have to finish building it. And yeah, everything else is clean and it better stay this way. Now I'm off to relax for the rest of the night. Uh.
All right, so there is my tree. That's obviously not where I'm going to leave it. Um, I have the lights over there. I'm going to decorate it and all that, but I just don't feel like doing it tonight. So I'm just going to take a break and chillax. And that's basically all I'm doing tonight. I made myself a sandwich, turkey, and cheese and um lettuce and I have of course a Pepsi that was just a spoon that was kicking around and I got my baby girls hey mamos she was just into the catnip so I was going crazy her was going crazy yeah her was going crazy is her was going crazy so I'm gonna end the vlog for today um Come back tomorrow, and I am going to be doing things in the kitchen probably most of the day and cleaning and stuff like that. Now that I got the bedroom clean, I always keep the living room fairly clean. There's just these things here that were brought out from the bedroom that I'm going to have to store down here and fix that up, and then I'll have to fix up the tree. But other than that, the living room is clean. I will just probably vacuum the carpet and sweep the floor up and... <coughs> Excuse me, when I decide to mop the floors, I'll do them all at the same time. Um, the bathroom usually is clean as well. I Once or twice a week, I scrub it down with like disinfectant spray or all-purpose cleaner or something like that. And uh, yeah, so um, tomorrow while I'm working in the kitchen, what are you doing? Tomorrow while I'm working in the kitchen, I will... Um, clean it up as well so anyways i hope you guys have a great friday night i'm just gonna go and relax on the computer for a while before i go to bed and uh wake up and do it all again tomorrow so have a good night guys